A bridge on the highway between Yankton and Vermilion, South Dakota has been named to honor the memory of a local hero. Sergeant First Class Richard Shield was killed in a roadside bombing in Iraq in 2005. This weekend, family, friends and others gathered to dedicate the bridge that now bears his name. KTIV's Emily Schrott has the story. Uh, Rich would be smiling right now. Family and friends say Richard Shield left a hole in the community after his death in Iraq in 2005. Now the Highway 50 westbound bridge between Yankton and Vermilion, South Dakota will forever hold his memory as the Rich Shield Memorial Bridge. Anything that we can do, I think I said, to try to keep Rich's memory alive. Um, you know, it's been 15 years. For us, it's been yesterday. Brooks Shield, Richard's brother, says he's appreciative of everyone who came out in support. So it's kind of nice to have something that we revisit this and remember that Rich gave his life in defense of our country. And it's nice that we can memorialize that or and name something after him that people will remember. Every time they break, drive over that bridge, they're going to remember Rich. They'll think of a story. They'll think of something they did with him. He touched a lot of lives in our community. Greg Whitlock, Secretary of the South Dakota Department of Veterans Affairs, says it's nice to be able to honor those who have given the ultimate sacrifice. It's, it's just a great program, I believe, that we've you know started, and it just it just helps remembering those veterans. Shield adds, although it rained throughout the ceremony, it's what Rich would have wanted. Rich, is a, he was a, a task guy, so if he had something going on or something we needed to do, he'd be doing it. So he'd be saying, okay, now build a bridge, get over it, and get back to work. You know, that's what he'd be telling us. That was the kind of guy he was. If you guys are going to be out here dedicating a bridge to me, you're going to be out in the rain because that's... That's uh, just how it is. In Yankton, South Dakota, Emily Schrod, KTIV News 4. This ceremony was part of a program created by the South Dakota Department of Transportation, Veterans Affairs, and the governor to help honor those who have fallen in the line of duty.